Okay, if wet on dry was wet paint on dry paper, what is wet into wet? Wet paint on wet paper. Exactly. And if wet on dry was really good for details and sharp edges, what do you think wet into wet is going to be? Backgrounds and blending. There we go. So the first thing I do, first thing I do is I'm going to actually wet this entire area with my brush. Now, you'll notice that my, my uh, water has changed pink. That means that that's actually going to transfer a little bit onto this paper. So if I want this to stay white, I need to go and clean off my water. It's going to be subtle. You may not even notice it, but, yeah, I could definitely notice it. Okay? You may not, but I could because I'm standing right here by it. And if you came up here, you might see a slight difference in, in uh, color in the paper now. Which brings me to another point. Okay? With watercolor, you stay away from using black and white. You do not use those. The reason for that for this is uh, because white, the color, is, the color of the paper is white. You use more water with the paint, and it becomes more transparent. So you let the white of the paper serve as your lightning, okay, as your highlights. Okay? Secondly, black tends to flatten it. Okay? Black tends to flatten it and kill the color. So that's why we don't use black. Okay? The nature of these are to be transparent. Now notice, shiny, not shiny. Wet, not wet. That's how you can tell. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Once again, when I look at my wet into wet, thin to thick, dark to light, multiple layers and colors. So pay attention to, the, to what happens here. Okay? I'm going to come in here. What's the difference in the line? It's dull. Definitely duller and blurry. Okay? And you'll notice I'm not doing anything, but it's still going. It's still spreading. The watercolor is just reacting to the water, the paint, that is. So now I'm going to add a little, I'm going to charge up my brush and load it up. Charging is when I add more color to the brush. Loading is when I actually add paint to the brush. So I'm charging and loading. Okay? And once again, I'm going to go thick thin, thick, thin, okay, and let it overlap. Got it? Okay, now I'm going to use my other color. I'm going to use another color in here as well because part of my requirements is dark to light, thin to thick, multiple layers and colors. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use some red. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to play with this line. Okay, that's pretty fun. Want to see a little water blossom? Watch this, this is pretty fun. Okay, water blossom, essentially, is all you're doing is just taking some, and it just, bink, bink, and it just grows. It just blossoms. If you notice, I'm not doing anything to it, and it's still going. Okay? That's essentially wet into wet. It's really good for backgrounds and large areas. It also is going to create some pretty dull colors. Got it? If you want some very vibrant colors, you go more with the wet on dry. Are we good? Are there any questions about that?